There is no consensus even now on the seat sharing formula between the two parties. The DMK says that the demand for seats from the Congress party is far greater than what they can agree to. So that is where the deal is stuck. Seat sharing between the allies yet to be finalized. And as per sources, Congress is not happy with the offer made by the DMK either. Sources say DMK is likely to offer 24 to 27 seats while the Congress wants a minimum of 30 and would not settle for anything less than that. So Congress continues to stick to this demand of seeking a respectable number. Congress is now waiting to, uh, to get a call from the DMK, DMK for further talks on this. Let's listen in to the inputs coming in on the story. Negotiation is on. We are for a Congress is for fighting for the respectable number, which can keep the cadres morale, uh, the cadre very high. NDA, led by the BJP, is trying to gobble up the real democratic federalism in the country. So there is and you know the Tamil Nadu is always a big platform, strong platform. You know, definitely to keep up the spirit of federalism and also to keep up the uh, spirit of this, uh, the nationalism. Mughalan joining me live with more input. So Mughalan, you're tracking the developments very closely. What is the status of uh, the discussions between the two parties? Where are the major differences between the DMK and the Congress? Uh, def uh, definitely the things are really not well between DMK and, Cong and Congress and it was quite very clearly evident during the executive me committee meeting today. The executive committee meeting went on at least for one hour today and right after that we spoke with several senior le uh, leaders who participated in the meeting and we could, all, uh, we could almost hear the same uh, uh, phrase from the senior leaders is that the difference, the wide, the gap between the numbers we proposed and the numbers what has been offered is quite wide is what we what we got to hear. So still the, uh, there is no consensus between DMK and Congress when it comes to seat sharing and the Congress leaders are not completely okay. happy with the way how DMK is treating uh, Congress for this assembly elections. So this has been communicated to the Congress High Command also. All the executive members who were present in the meeting have asked the leaders not to accept anything less than 30 and they also demanding that the DM Congress should not settle anything less than a respectable number for the assembly elections. And following this, the Tamil Nadu, uh, uh, Tamil Nadu Congress Committee President K.S. Allegri, who was while addressing the executive members, he really broke down in front of the executive members stating how the Congress has been reduced to here in the state of Tamil Nadu. And he also have stated that the Congress have did everything for the Congress. It has adjusted to all extent to the, D uh, to the DMK uh, in last four years. And he also, have uh, he also have stated that the Congress has been reduced to this level and he has also sought the cooperation from the executive members for the seat sharing talks. So after making this emotional speech, a resolution has been passed now. So as per that resolution, the election committee, the Congress election committee has been given all the powers to decide on the alliance. So co the Congress top leadership, either it be the Dinesh Gundurao or K.S. Alegri, Veerappa Moili, all the senior leaders who were present in the meeting today were completely unhappy because they couldn't reach a consensus, a consensus among the among their cadres itself. And more importantly, they are still waiting for the, uh, D, uh, they are waiting for the DMK to invite them because their proposal has been already sent to DMK. Now, now their Congress is waiting for the DMK once again to invite them for the talks and then only the Congress go leaders going to go to the DMK party office to hold any negotiation is what we are hearing. So unless a okay. proper demand, unless uh, unless DMK coming forward and accepting a respectable number for them and inviting the Congress for talks, Congress is not going to go to the uh, DMK party office for negotiations is what we can very clearly understand from uh, from as uh, from what we spoke with the leaders and the to co Congress top brass is completely unhappy with the way how the negotiations are underway. Okay, so it seems the Congress has given a minimum number and the DMK unwillingly unwilling to concede till now. Mugilan, stay with us. Let's talk about the other side of the political spectrum, the AIA DMK, which has released its first list of candidates. Six candidates have been announced, including Chief Minister E. Palaniswamy and Deputy Chief Minister Panira Silvam. So this is the first list that we are talking about, which means that candidates for all the seats in Tamil Nadu is not announced yet. Mukilan, what can you tell us about AIA DMK's first list? 
Uh, definitely win. Uh, the DMK is to still trying to cobble up its alliance to, to trying to finish the sharing talks between its alliance partners. Now we are seeing ADMK releasing the first list of candidates and sending a message that they have more sorted out house uh, when it comes to ADMK alliance and that is why this list, uh, first list has been sent out by the ADMK high command and all the names are in the, uh, all the names in the list are quite probable. We know that these candidates will be definitely offered the seat but to drive down a point that the DM, ADMK is completely ready and their house is sorted and to send that message now ADMK has uh, sent this first list of candidate list and the list we can see the Ch Deputy Chief Minister O Pandi Silvam will be contesting from Bodhi constituency uh, Chief Minister Palincham will be contesting from Edapadi and J Minister Jai Kumar from uh, Rayapuram and C V Shanmugam from Vilupuram. So all these four constituencies are the home constituencies for these uh, ministers. Uh, ministers, so they have been added to the list. And two more former MLAs also have been added to the list, and they will be uh, contesting from Neela uh, uh, Neela Kota also. So uh, now ADMK has released their first list of uh, candidates, and the final the final list will be on March 10th. Is what we are hearing. Okay, all right. So 10th of March will be the final list for the AIA DMK. Thanks for joining us, Mughalan, with the latest on this. TTV Dinakaran's party, AMMK, has rushed to finalize its alliance partners. The party has advanced the last date of receiving applications to 7th of March from the earlier date of 10th of March. So this comes at a time when Sesikala has announced that she is stepping aside from politics. And we will, of course, watch out for the developments on that front as well.